Now let's say I opened up my wallet, right? Then I went in and then I was like, hey, here's a hundred bucks. Okay, if I walked up to you every day and said, here is a hundred bucks, or if I walked up to you every day and said, well, hey, here's a hundred bucks, here's another hundred, um, here's another hundred, and if I did that every day, five or six times a day, would you be mad at me? No, of course not. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to validate your business ideal and to make money at the same time. It's a dope concept. When it works, it really, really works. Hey, this is Glendon Cameron, founder of HustlersKungFu.com. This is what I want you to do today. Take a step in the right direction. Go below the video and one of the first links, sign up for the free 19 business courses at HustlersKungFuLifeSkills.com. These courses will help you start a business, learn how to hustle, and also how to manage your life. Once again, it's one of the first links below. And I also ask this, as send two people to the channel and if you find value with the channel, if you find value with the concepts that you see here, pay what you want. With that, let's jump into the video. You know, it's funny. A lot of people start a business and they really don't know if it's going to work. They'll talk to their friends, they'll talk to family, they'll talk to coworkers, and everybody's like, yeah, man, go for it. That's really a good idea. Then some people even go so far as to quit their job before doing any real research or due diligence. Happens all the time. Now, this is the problem with that type of, quote, research. You'll ask all these people and they're like, yeah, 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 yeah. Then the minute that you set up your business and then you're just like, hey, I've set up my business and i like to take your order. All of a sudden they're like, I don't know about that, man. Well, could you tell me more? Could you uh, break it down? Could you give me more details? Uh, I don't know. Well, it's the end of the month. Well, I got to check with my wife. I got to check with my husband. All of those are things that are saying, I don't find value in what you're selling. Give you an example. Now, let's say I opened up my wallet, right? Then I went in and then I was like, hey, here's a hundred bucks. Okay, if I walked up to you every day and said, here is a hundred bucks, or if I walked up to you every day and said, well, hey, here's a hundred bucks, here's another hundred, um, here's another hundred, and if I did that every day, five or six times a day, would you be mad at me? No, of course not. If I came up and did that to you every day of the week, I, if I came to your house, Bam, bam. Hey, it's Glendon. I got those hundreds for you. You would never, ever get tired of me, right? Of course not, because I'm providing you value. So when someone says, hey, I'm getting too many emails, or hey, you're putting up too many videos, or hey, you're doing this stuff, they don't see the value in what I'm doing. And if someone immediately comes up with an objection after you quiz them, they never saw the value and they were just being nice to you. There are many people who set up businesses asking people these very things and are woefully disappointed when it comes down to opening up that wallet or putting down that credit card. What you have to understand is you must validate your business before you get in too deep. And what many people do is they'll start something, they'll put all their heart, their soul in it. And then when people start going, no, nah, man, I didn't really want that stuff. Then all of a sudden, it's a problem. What you have to do as an entrepreneur is to validate your business. And the first step, as you saw with the very first slide, is to ask for the money. Once you start asking for the money, everything becomes very, very real. All of the suppose, the fantasy, the romance, all that goes out. It's like, hey, are you going to give me money for this product? Or are you going to give me money for this service? And <laughs> traditionally, typically in the beginning, the answer is usually no, maybe, I don't know. Because money on the table makes people think. 
So the first thing that you want to do is to ask for the money. And part of asking for the money is identifying what you're going to sell. The other day I sent out an email for a test that I'm doing. I put out, hey, pre-buy this shirt because the shirts are going to come out at the end of the month. A lot of people were like, mm -mm, Glendon, I'm not doing that. But since I'm creating the Hustler Kung Fu apparel company, Hustler's Kung Fu gear, I, I'm going to do the shirts anyway because they're going to be part of courses and stuff and they're going to be really, really snazzy. But as part of validating the concept, and I've already done this before several times, so I know it works, but I know that that particular way of doing it doesn't work. And I found it out without spending any money, without risking a dime. Now, one of the things that you have to do to grow your business is learn how to ask for the money. There are many people that talk about other companies, like take Apple. Every time you go to apple.com's webpage, they ask for the money. It's that little blue buy button. It's like, hey, look at this, look at this, buy. Nothing else, no checkout, <laughs> buy. Because they have tested the color, they have tested the words on the button, and know those words work because they haven't changed them in years. They are high converting colors and they're high converting words. Well, a high converting word. Now, how do they know this? Because they were asking for the money for years and years. They've had groups. Apple has a whole room full of people dedicated to this task of how to ask for the money. That's how important it is. And if you think that you're going to put something out there and then people will be just so blown away that they'll just come. And then also you hear about word of mouth marketing. Word of mouth marketing is very powerful, but we live in a very crowded world. I get word of mouth marketing, here it is going on seven, eight years later. And probably in two years, I'll even get more word of mouth marketing, but I've been asking for the money. I've been asking for subscribers. I've been from day one. I got a comment about someone who was disgruntled about my no eBay, no Amazon video. No accountability. It was just like listening to you, I almost went out of business. Let's be clear, if you are on Amazon or eBay only, you don't have a business. But part of my reason for my vigor of saying this is when you become a vendor or a farmer, you become fucking lazy. You don't know how to market. You don't know how to prospect. You don't know how to pick up the phone and cold call. You just plug your stuff into the system, which is fine. But if you have not validated your products outside of that ecosystem, if something happens in that ecosystem, you are 100% fucked. And I don't think this, I know this. I went through it and I know a lot of people who have gone through it. And unfortunately, many more are going to go through it. Learning how to validate your business, learning how to ask money is very important to you becoming successful. As long as you keep, I don't want to do that, you're always at risk of being someone else's cog in their machinery. The art of the pre-sale. If you put out 10, 15, 20 products in a year and you do it on a pre-sale basis, probably 12, 13 probably won't sell that well but one or two will go crazy. So what you know about this is the more that you put stuff out, the more that you create, the more that you put yourself out there, the greater chances you have a success. But if you're somehow thinking that that one thing is gonna do it for you, you're gonna be in a world of hurt because let's just say, I'll give you an example. A few years ago, I put out my course, 30 Days to 2500. It went really, really well. It was the only thing that I focused on, but fortunately I had all this other stuff around the YouTube channel. I was selling a lot of books on Amazon. Then one day, it just stopped. It just literally stopped. I didn't stop promoting it. I didn't stop asking for money, but one day it just stopped. And before you go ahead and like, well, it must not be working. That's not the case. There are some wonderful books on Amazon that were selling like hotcakes. Then one day it just stopped. The market constantly changes. People are looking for different stuff. People might be 100% into your product today, 90 days from now, not so much. So that's why you must ask for the money, ask often, validate often, and move as fast as you can. I got another comment where someone was just like, when you were doing all this stuff, you didn't have anyone stressing you out and putting this pressure. I was like, bullshit. 
I was stressing myself out. I was pushing myself, was working 12, 14, 20 hours a day sometimes to get this stuff out there because I know these windows are like, that's how fast they close. Just like window open, window closed. That's how the, the marketplace that we're in, that's how it works. And if you don't want to embrace that or accept that, you're going to be disappointed all of the time. One of the ways that you can pre-sell is to individually send all of your friends and family a note, copy and paste the note, change the names. Do not send out a mass Facebook or a mass email. Individually create these conversations and say, look, I'm looking to do this and I'm asking for your help. Can I get a commitment? So get in the habit of doing that because as a business owner, until you reach a certain amount of scale, you're always going to be asking. You're always going to be asking for the money. You're always going to be asking for validation. So the sooner you become comfortable with that, the better off you're going to be. Now, there's ways to automate that process and there's the ways to create online funnels to do this. But if you learn how to do it in the real world, face to face, it's just going to make what you put in your automation even stronger and much better. So that's all I have for you today. If you like the content of this video, and you should, if you like the free courses, and you should, subscribe, like, and comment. Now, if you want to talk to me, I do have a fee schedule. So if the channel isn't enough, if the free courses aren't enough, and you want more, it's on the table. One of the links below where you can schedule an appointment and then we can talk about your success. All right, this is Glendon. I'll see you in the next video.